Hi, in this video, we'll see how to use DS18B20 temperature sensor, and this is also called as a one wire sensor. And make sure that you are connecting a 4.7 resistor between a VCC and a data output. And I'm connecting the output of DSP to my D4 pin of ESP, and I've connected a ground to ground and the VCC to 3.3 volt. So, first, we'll see that. How to program this to our temperature sensor and you can see here that I have included two libraries you need to download this and put it in your library because these tools are very important to make this sensor work and if you have these two library you don't need to have so much complicated calculations in your program so you can see here that you don't need to have any program or you, you don't need to know what are the registers you need to call to make the sensor work. Just download the library and call some functions and you will get this uh, temperature output. So I'm going to upload my code. So before that I need to connect my ESP to my system. I've connected it and I'm going to upload my code. So before that I need to check whether it is in the correct COM port and I've selected a correct model. So everything is selected correctly. I'm going to upload my code. So here our code has uploaded. Let's check this in our serial monitor. What is the current temperature? So here you can see that we have connected only one sensor to the ESPA266. So the device that is returning is 28.56 is the correct temperature here so you can connect uh, many devices you want there is no need for having multiple pins to connect this type of sensor you can connect multiple sensor to just a uh, one pin so we are getting a uh, so here you can see that the temperature is not changing it is in a constant so I'm gonna close this as usual I'm gonna program this for uploading my data to things speak so yes the program for this and before that I need to uh, give a API key for things speak and I need to change my ID and password so I'll change my SSID password later. So before that we go and create a channel. I'm gonna create a new channel. So I'm gonna name it as DS18 B20 and the first field is temperature. So everything is set. Gonna save this and go for API keys. Copy the API key and paste into your here. That's it. So I'm gonna upload my code. So the code has uploaded. Let's check this in serial monitor to change the baud rate. So here you can see that the temperature is 28.5. We can also check in our things big. So here we have our first data. That is 28.5. Let's try to close the sensor and check whether we are getting different values or we are getting the same value for it. So here you can see that the temperature is slightly decreasing and it started to increase now. 
I'm going to place this near my laptop vent so that I know what is the temperature there. So we already have seen that um, different examples with different sensor and this is one of the example with a uh, TS18B20 sensor and I'm going to close this uh, video here and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.